Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics, and you might know from the title of this video exactly what we're going to be talking about, but I'm still going to be talking about it in some elusive manner here in the beginning, where you just don't understand what I'm talking about until the big reveal. But, tricks on you, I don't have you at my base. I've already moved them over to different places. But, um, today we're going to be talking about the Giga, and why am I standing in the middle of the artifacts? Because, uh, a Giga cannot get you any of these. No. Giga cannot get you any of these. A Giga cannot win you the game in PvE. In PvP, Gigas are powerhouses. These guys are insane. There are so many people who are set in their way on Gigas, on how you should level them, how you should treat them, how you should breed them, how a Giga should look, how a Giga should talk, how a Giga should walk, how they should smell, everything, which is why I really didn't want to cover this one, but I kind of feel I have to, because if you're just starting out, or if you have a few questions about the Giga, these are some things that you really need to know, all right? Um, and the first thing is uh, how you want to tame them. Well, how you want to tame them? Uh, these guys are not a beginner tame at all, all right? So we're going to handle these in an expert slash uh, um, experienced player perspective, coming down to the kind of the basic level, all right? So where everybody can go out, they can tame a Giga, they can get the big dinosaur, the biggest dinosaur, the toughest dinosaur that you can get. Um, yeah, and really, I mean, Giga's, these, these guys are rough. They're really rough. So uh, grab your biggest long neck that you possibly um, can. Grab some shocking train darts. Yeah, I would not prefer to, to do this with anything but shocking train darts. You can do it with regular train darts, but it takes a lot longer. Yeah, it really does. I'm not joking there. You can also do it with a regular long neck, but chances are um, with regular darts and a regular long neck on a high level Giga, that long neck's gonna break before you uh, get this thing knocked out. Yeah, especially if you're doing it by yourself. If you got a bunch of people doing it with regular long necks, it's not gonna be as bad. But, yeah. So I would recommend to get um, at least, you know, uh, something that has a little bit increased durability on it, plus also shocking trank darts. They do make the difference, all right? Plus, also, if you're getting shocking trank darts, it means you have access to biotoxins which is very important as well, because when it comes around to uh, Gigas, yeah, narcotics will tame it. Yeah, you'll go through a lot of them, and it is effective. Yeah, taming with narcotics, it is effective. Um, but I would rather just use uh, um, Biotoxin. It's so much easier, it's so much more effective. It's actually, in the later game, it's easier to get than, uh, than just regular narcotics, because all you do is go out and kill some jellyfish, bam! You got tons of, uh, or, uh, tons of Biotoxin. So, yeah. All right, like I said, this is not a beginner tame, but first off first, we're going to talk about how to actually tame a couple of these. There's a couple different ways of taming these guys. I'm going to go over and I'm going to show you guys um, one of my taming pins that I've got specifically for Gigas. Now, um, with Gigas, there's really, there's, there's a couple different ways to tame them. One, you need to realize that uh, if you're not going to use a taming pin, then you're just making life extra difficult for yourself. That's really all you're doing. Um... If you, wrong button, if you uh, decide to not use the taming pin method, if you just have them like in like a canyon or something like that, when you get down to 25% torpor, they're going to run. And it's going to be really rough for you. Because chasing gigas, and believe it or not, gigas can actually hide inside of trees. It is insane. Yeah, these guys, they're huge, but you can still lose them inside trees. Just know this. All right, um, and then... Yeah, I would just prefer, if you're going to do it, do it with a taming pin. Now, there's a couple different types of taming pins that I'm going to cover today. First off is the reusable taming pin. The kind that you can just use over and over and over and over if you put it near a spot where you know Gigas spawn and you just want to uh, um, tame a Giga. Yeah, we're going to be talking about that one. Also, we're also going to be talking about how to effectively remove a Giga from your area if you encounter a Giga. 
Yeah, and the only effective way of doing that is either Lightning Wyvern or drowning it. Yeah, you can. There are ways of, you know, with Quetzals, um, putting uh, um, a bunch of plant species on their back and then uh, getting the Quetzals to actually kill it, but that really doesn't work. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it does kind of work, but yeah. Um, I would prefer not to. The best way in a PvE environment is just drown the sucker. Yeah, lure it over here into the water, take it out here into uh, um, the deep water, and just leave it. Yeah. Just, I mean, as soon as it's in deep water, turn around and go that way. Get it out of render range so it pops into stasis inside the water, it'll drown. Yeah, that's just the easiest, most effective way of doing that. Okay, so now over here, this right here is what I like to call a reusable Giga Pen. Um, now, reusable just means that you don't have to reset it, you don't have to nothing. Um, I mean, I could put metal ramps right here, and I probably should, but I really don't tame that many Gigas. So the, the wood ramps right here are effective as long as he doesn't start chomping on them, because he can damage it. Gigas can damage stone and wood, and they can go through it like it is paper. All right, um, but yeah, as long as they don't just start munching on it, it's all good. I think this one right here, actually, the last one I tamed in here did start munching on it, and yeah, I think it hit it once or twice, maybe three times, and yeah, it it already has, you know, 2,500 damage to it. So yeah, they go through uh, w uh, metal, or wood uh, ramps like it's just not even there. I mean, seriously, just give them a second, it'll be gone. All right, which is why this taming pen is made completely out of metal where it counts, where he can't get out of it. Now, now also remember, gigas are big. Yeah, they're big. Yeah. So they can't fit through small openings at all. So you could, why, you could like run like, you know, all sorts of dinos through this. A giga can't fit through here. All right. And uh, this right here just has pillars stacked up like this. I've got a big, huge, giant behemoth gate right here so I can get the giga out. Um, also, if uh, the Giga gets trapped over on this side, which happened the last time I was taming one, um, you can just leave this door open. He'll come in, he'll uh, run inside, and then you can just go around side, and then bam, close it behind him. Um, the most effective way, or the most preferred way, is actually just to get him to go over the ramps, fall down in, bam, you know, Bob's your uncle, and then, hey, there you go. We've got, uh, you know, Giga in a pen. You just sit there and you knock it out. All right, now for the next one, I'm going to go over to Ragnarok. We're going to switch uh, gears here a little bit. We're going to head over to Ragnarok, and I'm going to go find a Giga that is out in the open. And it's where we can test out the next taming pen method. Because this one right here is the next taming pen method is actually the most popular one. And that's the one I want to uh, discuss right now. It's not reusable by any means, but it is very effective. It's kind of simple, um, but in order to get the gig out, you have to destroy part of it. So yeah, which means it's not a reusable taming pen. Because in order to reset it, you have to craft more stuff. Yeah. Alright, so hey, let's get over to Ragnarok and I will see you guys in a bit. Alright. Now, um, there's a lot of people that will say, when you're taming a Giga, use a crossbow. Because crossbows fire faster, and uh, you're able to put more torpor on the target. But, it's been my experience that when you're uh, going solo, the best long neck you can, and shocking trank darts, is the best way of doing it. Um, yeah, you can go crossbow if you want, but really, it, 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 it does take longer. Um, it's a bit more effective, it's cheaper... But if you want to go with effectiveness versus, uh, yeah, uh, cost, I don't know. When it comes around to gigas, I'd rather spend the extra money. All right, let's see. Um, so here, this is the easiest way of trapping a giga. Okay, so now all you do is just set up one of these. And remember, the spaces on these things are pretty big. You don't have to go with huge areas in between, or you don't have to go with small areas in between these pens. Because just remember, it's not going to be able to get out. All right, all you have to do is have a big enough spot for it to get in. Yeah. There we go. And then we have this spot right here. So where we can just kind of block it up like that. All right. But also, you need a large bear trap in the middle. Now, I'm going to put a few of them in here. That way there... It's going to give me a few more than just a couple seconds. All right, because each one of these traps has potential to trigger on it. But I don't want to put any in this back little bit. any Too far back, I don't want to put any back there. Just in case. All right, uh, because if he uh, turns around and then he uh, comes back 
and comes back, I don't want to have him any chance of the Giga being on the outside. All right, so let's see. Uh, there was a Giga right over here. There you are, just overhanging next to the Wyvern's car. All right, so now we're just gonna kinda go over and give him a little love tap. Come on, buddy. All right, now we're gonna completely keep an eye on him. There he goes. Oh, that's a kick on our butt. All right, so now you have to kind of keep down low. Because if you get up high... Come on. In there. There you are. All right, now you just come around like this. Yeah, I'm going to stick another one right there. And then let's go around the other side. Just in case. Boop. There you go. See that, Giga? I booped you, buddy. All right, so now he's stuck in there. He, there's no getting out. Yeah, he, he's absolutely 100% stuck. Now, how I said that this um, trap is not reusable, you end up having to break the um, ones that we just put down in order to get him out of there. All right, so now I'm just going to stay up like this. And I'm just going to shoot him. As long as you keep shooting him as quickly as possible with the long neck then with the um oh shocking trank darts it you'll knock him out actually you'll, you'll you'll knock him out faster than a crossbow will crossbow if you've got a bunch of people going at him with a crossbow then you can get him knocked out pretty dang fast because you can get the dot stacked up really high when it comes around to crossbows um because if you lay off a giga at any time with whatever your weapon of choice is, his torpor is going to drop considerably quick. It, it It's kind of insane just how fast their torpor goes down. Yeah, but as long as you are constantly hammering him with everything, he's going to go down and it's going to be quick. Especially with an ascendant long neck that I've got here. And then also the shocking trank darts. Here, let's just keep going. I'm just going to record this whole little bit as he keeps going. And I'm going to try find the headshot on this thing. I'm not even sure if they have a headshot. I mean, I know there's uh, certain dinos where it's like right in, right here is the headshot. Like with Allosaurus's and then with Rex's, you can get it right up here. But I'm not even sure Gigas have it. Let me see. Let's try the lower jaw a little bit. Let's try the snout. Come on, buddy. I didn't even check to see what level you were. Maybe I should have done that before I started. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been important information to know. But the video is about how to tame a Giga, not, hey, what level of Giga can we tame? Right. But using this method, you can tame any level of Giga. It's just a matter of time investment. Yeah. All right, just keep on going. All right, just remember that uh, anything, as long as it's not um, a bull or something, you can eventually knock these things out if you got a big enough crew. Because the key thing when it comes to gigas is the dot that's applied after the initial little bit. Um, that is the key to knocking out gigas. Because everything that you shoot against one of these guys it puts a dot on them and as long as that dot is active their torpor is not going to be going down because it'll be going up and if it's not going up it's going down and it's going down at the quickest rate that you possibly can get out of any dino in the game yeah um so that way there this 61 damage that we're doing it's not that much but the dot itself is stacking constantly over and over and over while we're doing this as long as we keep pelting him the moment that dot runs out he's gonna that torpor is gonna immediately fade off him and then it's just gonna everything's gonna go south we're gonna have to start over it's it's gonna be bad yeah which is why you know having you know three four five ten people pelting with crossbows it's super quick because you get that uh dot stacking wicked high but, like this, 
solo with a long neck, tra shocking tranquilizer darts, and knocks him out really, really quick. All right. Funk, dude. This, this guy must be kind of high level. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. Ah, huh, all right. Just keep shooting, just keep shooting. What do we do? We shoot. Ha uh, 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 uh. Come on, buddy. Come on, dude. By the way, these guys, they can really, really, really take a, um, they, they can hold their liquor. Yeah, these guys have an immense amount of, uh, of torpor. It's, it's impressive. You take a look at this guy when he's knocked out, and you'll see just how much torpor these guys have. It's really, really insane. Combined with their health, too. Wild Giga's health, it's, it's insane. There he goes, and he's out. All right, so that took us about 50 shocking train darts. Yeah, but he's out. All right, now immediately, all right, you're going to notice, all right, as soon as we can see his inventory, his torpor is going to just be, oh, I, I overpelted him. Okay, my dot was going pretty strong there for a little bit. All right, so now, yeah, look, now it is just dropping. See how many seconds we got off um, the griffin and came over here? It was only about 15, 20 seconds. That was the dot. Yeah. And it just wore off. But um, he has 69,000 uh, torpor. That's why it took so much to get him. And I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to watch the torpor go down to where it loses about 20, uh, about 20k. And I'm not going to do a single thing to him while he's doing this. I'm just going to let it go. Right? Now, as soon as it gets down to about 20k, I'm going to feed him all this 100 uh, biotoxin. Matter of fact, you can actually let it get down to about... Probably about... I'd say about 30, maybe um, 20k, and then feed him a couple hundred biotoxin. Because biotoxin takes a while for all of it to take effect. And that's really what you want, is how long it takes for the entire stack to take effect. Alright, now here, let's watch. Alright, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna feed him. Yeah, that'll work. Bam, let's get him all that. Every last little bit of that biotoxin. Now, it's his torpor is going to go up wicked slow, but it's going to go up wicked slow for a long time. And that's what we're looking for right there. All right, now all we do is take our Quetzal Kibble and throw it on him. All right, now we wait. All right, now that's the key thing right there on how to... Uh, oh, you're level 100. Oh, holy crap. All right, level 100 female Giga. All right, hey, this is a winner. You're a winner, girl. All right. But yeah, so uh, that right there is the key thing to uh, getting a Giga knocked out and tamed is uh, when it's knocked out, basically, or as you're knocking out, pelt it. Pelt it hard. You don't have to worry about killing one of these things by over pelting it. The only thing is, is when you um, start to think that it's going to be uh, I'm getting close to being knocked out when it starts running, start just one or two people switching shots between the crossbows or just keep pelting it if you're single player because you'll be able to notice when it actually gets knocked out so where you won't shoot it again but yeah and that way there you don't start losing taming effectiveness and stuff like that but yeah um i'm gonna get this girl tamed up i'll bring you guys back and i will see you guys in a bit because there's a lot more to discuss about gigas there's a reason why these guys are king yeah there's there's reasons see you guys in a bit all right, now when taming these guys, you definitely, definitely, definitely want to keep an eye on the fact that their torpor is going up. There's math involved here, so you need to make sure that uh, however much narcotics and how much biotoxin you put on these guys, it's going to last at the entire taming process. Because if it doesn't and it starts going down, you will only have a little bit of time to react to get that uh, um, torpor under control before this thing gets up and it just eats you. Especially if you're walking on it, like I am right now. Yeah. All right, but um, while this thing's taming, I'm going to talk about a few of the different uses. 
All right, for one, these guys, they're they are a massive tank. They are. They are just a wicked massive tank. And then also, um, in PvP, you can use these guys to siege bases. But it is kind of important to know that if you are using these guys in PvP, um, there's tactics uh, that people use to enrage them. Now, when they get enraged... Um, when they take a certain amount of damage in a short amount of time, they will throw off the riders, and then they will decide to eat said rider, along with all dinos, enemy or otherwise, in the area. Nothing is safe when one of these things goes into enrage mode. So, it, it's a pretty viable tactic to, uh, um, try to enrage your enemy's gigas if you're being attacked. Also, um, they initiate like a chain reaction kind of effect. If uh, one Giga um, enrages all other friendly Gigas to it in the area will enrage as well. They'll throw off their dinos. They'll, uh, they'll throw off their riders. They'll start to eat everybody. Yeah, just uh, know what you're getting yourself on when you uh, get on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of important. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, also, these guys, they can be used uh, very effectively for alpha hunting. I mean, you can take these guys out, and uh, they'll take on, you know, alpha just about anything. But when you're fighting alpha rexes, just know that you can enrage your guy, and yeah, it's, it is it is an important thing to know. Yeah. Um, just know that, uh, yeah, unless if uh, you're using one of these things that's very well imprinted and stuff, um, if you're using a low-level Giga, it doesn't make you invulnerable. It doesn't make you um, impenetrable. It doesn't make you uh, immortal. Because... Oh, that keeps going up and down. <laughs> All right, that's messing with me a little bit. Um, yeah, just being on a Giga, even if it's a low-level Giga, just know that uh, Rexes can kill you. A really nice imprinted Rexes, they can take you out. So, yeah, just be aware of that. Okay. Um, and then also, uh, if you're just going out and trying to get from point A to point B, yeah, they're pretty effective too. But uh, just know that people on Wyverns, yeah, they'll target the rider. Yeah, they'll, they'll target the rider. So if you see a wyvern in the distance, you're on a Giga, you're pretty even, you're a pretty easy target. As long as, yeah, because you're, even though you're moving fast, or you think you're moving fast, you're moving slow to a flyer. All right, so yeah, just keep in mind of that. I'm, I'm still paying very close attention to this Torpor here. I don't want this Torpor to wear off. All right, so yeah, after this, uh, we'll go uh, make a saddle. I brought my uh, Pokeball, um, and then we'll talk about a little bit more about the Rage mechanic. I'll try to see if I can get it enraged. I'm not sure if I'll be able to in a solo PvP environment. Um, it's a bit tough, but just know that uh, sticking things like uh, C4 on one of these guys or shooting it with rocket launchers, they'll make it enrage right quick. Yeah, and when you're on a Giga, you paint a pretty big target on yourself because of just how much damage these guys do. But another thing I want to mention is even though this guy is tamed, taming and he's got 80,000 health, he's going to lose a ton of this health the moment he gets up. That's just how they balanced uh, Gigas. They didn't make them super, super powerful. You don't keep this health. Uh, matter of fact, this guy will probably tame up about 18k health, which is still a decent amount of health. But, yeah, which just means that, yeah, you pretty much want to uh, breed and imprint these guys so where you get that extra last little bit of health. And then when it comes to leveling these guys, um, I'll cover it right now. Trike, you're freaking me out. Just get away from here. Um, yeah, I'll cover um, oh, uh, how to level these guys properly right now because there's only one way to do it. Damage. That's it. There's damage. You can try pumping a little bit into stamina. You can try pumping a little bit into, uh... Is that going down? No. You can try pumping a little bit into stamina. You can try pumping a little bit into health. But you're only going to get small marginal gains. That's it. I mean, like, minuscule gains. All you want to do is damage. That's it. Um, pretty much, and that just plays into the strength of these guys. Because that's what these guys are. They do damage. A lot of damage all right so hey this guy's about to get up and oh, he's still got a little bit his torpor is messing with me he keeps going up and down up and down up and down yeah all right well hey i will see you guys in a bit all right and this guy is up all right so uh let's take that off him Let's take off the biotoxin. So all I needed was 200 biotoxin. Um, although I am playing on times uh, four, 
Maybe it's six. Uh, taming. So um, for regular official server settings, which are actually times two by default, I believe, um, means that uh, you'll need a little bit more biotoxin. So just know it. Uh, you also need a little bit more uh, Quetzal kibble. It was a little bit uh, easy for me, but yeah. All right. So now I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to stick him on my Pokeball. And then uh, we're going to get back to base and we're going to go make a saddle for this guy. Here, dude. One of the best benefits from extinction. <laughs> All right, and also, I'm going to pick up this bear trap. Damn. All right, I'm going to leave the rest here just in case. Uh, but just know, uh, if I were to reuse this pan, I'd have to break this right here just so I could get in. I ended up breaking this one in the middle of the tank because I got stuck on it. But yeah. Because I was up there trying to jump all the way around and stuff like that, trying to pass the time. <laughs> it happens. All right, don't judge me. All right, but so now we've got a Giga in our pocket, which is the best place to have one. Uh, we're going to uh, head back over to uh, base, craft a saddle, because the saddle is actually kind of difficult. Uh, the saddle is, uh, I mean, it's not that difficult. I mean, it's, it's high level. All right, Giga saddle right here. It's level 96. All right, it takes 350 fiber, 680 hide, 120 metal ingots. It's pretty easy to craft after you have level 96. Yeah, just so you know, it, yeah, that's really the only thing, is the level requirement that it takes to craft one. All right, let's get back to base, and I will see you guys in just a sec. All right, let's get this Giga Saddle crafted. Get those. Come on, buddy. Go. Stick this stuff back inside the fridge. All right. Let's go play with our Giga. Once it turns to morning. Holy crap. All right. And we're back. All right. So let's throw you out, buddy. There we go. Now I'm going to try to see if I can get him enraged. I doubt if I'm going to be able to in a PvE environment. All right. But here, now, like I was saying, um, if you... Uh, yeah, see see how this guy turned out? He had 80,000 hit points uh, while wild. They take a massive uh, nerf the moment you tame them. And it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So, yeah. Now, if I were to pump up health, he would probably only gain about 10 health. It's not much. Maybe even only like 5 or 6. If I were to um, pump up stamina, he'd get maybe a point of stamina. If he's lucky. So, we're just going to pump up... Melee damage, because he gets two points that way. <laughs> Yay! Melee damage! Alright, so yeah, let's get out here and let's go uh, beat some stuff up. Now, um, there's a couple of different attacks. One, that attack. Two, this attack. This is the most important attack. Alright, this one right here. Just... Oh yeah, strike fear in your enemies with a vicious roar. Yep, that's pretty much about it. All right, but you'll notice this guy, he only has 127% melee damage, but he's already doing 500 damage. Yeah, brand new, level 100 wild Giga, and he's already doing 500 damage. It is that insane. These guys, when you get them imprinted and leveled up, they are absolute powerhouses, and nobody gets prime meat just as effectively as a Giga. All right, now we just pumped, we went from 127 to uh, 133. Let's see just how much damage um, we're doing now, because it was doing 508. Is there any fish in here? Give me a fish. I need something, guys. I need something, I have to chomp on it. All right, let's head up here. Oh, I see. Ah, Pariser. All right, but these guys, they run out of stamina super fast. It is very unfortunate, but yeah, it happens. All right, so let's see. 508, 532. Yeah, They're, they do a lot of damage, just so you know. All right, but hey, anyway, I think that's going to do it for the video. Um, I think I covered just about everything when it came to the Giga. I hope I did. I know some people are going to... There, there's always somebody that reminds me something I forgot to cover. So, especially when it comes to something as volatile as the Giga, which I was actually kind of avoiding covering because I know there's so many diehard fans of a Giga. But, um, 
yeah, I hope I covered everything. Um, yeah, I know I didn't really get it uh, enraged. Really didn't even try. But, yeah, if just know that once you get these guys enraged, you'll get the little red head up at the top right. Um, that tells you that you're starting to get enraged. And then when that fills up, bam! Or all of a sudden, their eyes glow, they'll roar, you kick you off the saddle, and nothing is safe. Nothing <laughs> is safe. All right? But yeah, just know, respect these things if you're going to ride them. Because these guys, they can either be your best buddy or your worst enemy. All right, so hey... I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. Take it easy, everybody.